Big welcome back to Yak. Once more, we are going to pick up the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. As you see, we're going to get into the Texas Rangers series that's coming up in two weeks from now. As you see, the Blue Jays are kind of being a little inconsistent after going 23 and 7, or 22 and 7, sorry. And a few wins, a few losses, a few wins, right? That's that's the story of the season right now. If you're actually looking at the real season, that's what's going on. They just beat the Bronx Bombers in the Bronx for once in almost a lifetime, it seems. And we will get into that Texas Rangers series now after taking a look at the stats. Mark Burley is 5-0 and right now. That is intense. And do stock is rising on Melky Cabrera. I knew that long ago. This guy is great. So as you see, just fantastic from everybody in the top four. Juan Francisco, we're actually going to probably trade out here right away. Brett Laurie, Deonor Navarro. Oh, Colby Rasmus. Meister is terse. So yeah, we're going to trade out Juan Francisco for Adam Lind. And that should be that. Let's take a look at the bottom guys again. And Jose Reyes, I didn't really look at his stats, but 333 on the season, not bad at all. So we'll get into the game, and as you saw, yeah, it's pretty obvious who I'm going to choose for player lock in this one, guys. Mark Burley is our pitcher, and Jose Reyes is our man. So Globe Life Park, we are going to, as the Blue Jays will face the Rangers in Game 1 of the series in May. As it looks like, look at that, two similarities right off the bat. Shortstop and left fielder to start the lineups for both clubs. After it loads here, we'll get right to the game, guys. Sorry, it kind of took a little bit longer to load than usual. I'm not really sure why. And once more, the screen's all screwy on me. I keep changing it. Nothing wants to stay the same for me. So please pardon that as Jose Reyes steps into the box to lead off the game here in Texas. And he's going to have first pitch swing and foul it off. I could have been right down the line if he had been just a little bit less late. And there we go. Reyes is going to drive this one. It looked deeper than it was, and it's going to fall out there for a flyout. Oh, and then Cabrera gets on, and look at that. It's a 1-1 game here as Reyes now has a chance to break it open with the bases juiced here in the top of the second. And Reyes is going to deliver as he punches this one straight up the gut over the pitcher. He's going to stop at first, but the man on first originally is going to stop over at third as two runs score for the Blue Jays. That's Navarro right there. He must be so happy he scored. That doesn't happen often if he's the only man on base. And there goes Reyes, the pitch out, and it got him. That'll be a stolen base attempt gone awry for Reyes as he gets caught stealing there. However, the Jays do lead 3-1, to one, so a big lead already, and they're going to have to try and only a man on second, so keep him there as Reyes will go, and this throw is kind of going to get away, but Encarnacion with great stretch gets the out, but the man advances to third, so that's a little dangerous. But the K will end it, and 3-3 three, three is our score here in the top of the fifth. As Reyes has a man on, and he's going to deliver this one out to left center field, going right in the middle of the gap. And this center fielder here has a hard time rallying it for some reason. And Reyes slides in easily with that tremendous speed he has with a triple as his tourist scores. So his second triple on the year for Reyes. That's pretty good already. 4-3 lead for the Blue Jays. Three RBI in this game for Reyes. And he's going to get past home plate here. He dives in funny on that pass ball. And Reyes scores. So another base loaded opportunity for Reyes here in the top of the fifth. It's an 8-3 game now. If he can drive one down either line, he's got five RBI in this game. 
But we'll see here as this ball misses low. So he's looking for something a little bit higher. Maybe lift it out of the park for a grand slam. That would be pretty cool with Jose Reyes. Here's a 1 0. That's not going to be the case as it's going down the line. Is that going to be able to stay fair and get down? No. That'll be an out. There were two out. Nobody can advance. So we'll see some fielding from Reyes here as he has a man on first. So if he can get the out there, all will be well. And here we go. Ball will come straight to Reyes. He's going to fire over to fir second, first. Double play. That's approved. As that's a scary looking mascot. Neil Cox will come in on in relief and serve one up to Brett Laurie. Look at Laurie hitting that homer. 9-3 score now in the bottom of the seventh. This ball is coming right to Reyes. It's going to get past him into the... Oh, geez, that is just brutal by Reyes. And now he's going to fire over to first. And it airmails. And the runner ends up on third? I thought only second, but okay. That works for me if it works for you guys. And this ball is going to get down. And Reyes firing home. Oh, he's just safe. Just barely. Now Reyes will probably get what is his final at bat of the night. He has a triple and a single with three RBIs so far. It's nothing too, too spectacular out of Reyes, like didn't hit a home run. But hey, three RBIs, the Jays will take it. That's what's making this game a wide open game for the Blue Jays because without it, it would only be a 6-4 game and it would be a save opportunity in the next inning for Casey Jansen, which is what the Jays want to try and avoid due to Jansen's knowing lack to close a game sometimes. And that ball will be a fly ball out right to the right fielder for Reyes. Seconds at bat like that. And Leonis Martin, the center fielder, who I couldn't name last time I referenced him, will get in at bat here in the bottom of the eighth in what could be the last appearance of the game for Reyes. And this is going to be a pop-up. Reyes is going to run over to third to cover for Brett Laurie, who's taken it. And that will end the inning. So Jason Frazier comes on and that, oh no, it will not be the end of the night for Reyes as he gets a double play opportunity here to end the game. So not a half bad way to end the game on player lock to say the least. And we are going to go over to second, second, first, boom, double play right there, Reyes. That'll end it. As thank you for watching this edition of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. Brett Laurie is our MVP of the game. So Mark Burley advances to six wins on the season. So we're doing good here. Thank you for watching. We'll get to the end screen here where you can actually do something. Please subscribe. Watch the last episode. As always, so long from Yak City.